the old tow truck is getting cleaned out because it's going to paint. Going to paint? Paint. Astute. We got old blue here. It's not going to be blue for long. Hector with Howlin' Wolf Garage. It's a YouTube channel. I've known him a while. We've kind of, we've done some events together, this and that. Hector approached me. He wants to paint the truck. He's been following this build since I did it. He loves the square body, loves the truck, and really thinks it deserves to look good, which is a little different around here. <laughs> we are gonna take it up and drop it off and let him have fun with it. So we're gonna go two-tone, but we're gonna go white and green. Not our traditional bright green. I wanna do that. I wanna do a traditional Chevy green, older style, darker Chevy green. It's gonna go straight from Hector's over to our friends at Alcan Springs, and that's who built the springs for the wrecker. They're gonna custom build some springs for this. We're gonna bring it up about three inches in the front. We've gotta come up about that far to do the crossover steering on it. Hector's gonna do his work to it, then take it over to Alcan, then Alcan's gonna put a lift on it, and then we will go over and pick it up. So I won't see it until it's all done. So it's gonna be crazy but I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys go check out Hector's channel. Um, like I said, Howlin' Wolf Garage, check that out because they're gonna be painting blue. I'm giving him total free reign. I trust him completely. He's doing it. And then we'll just be excited. Aren't we excited? I'm excited. Look how excited we are. <laughs> See how excited I am. Aha. All right, so here's what we're fixing today. <laughs> Two minutes before recovery. Yep, there it is. Big block live. So here's our situation. Got turned, they were turning around because the road looked worse over there and got hung up on this little berm trying to turn around. So it's the classic open differential. This tire spinning and that opposite tire spinning. Yeah. So that's why. I'd really like to be right on this here side. and just right. winch it back. But So there is an old road over here Okay. It's pretty well overgrown. It shows on my map, and I did check. It is there, but it's like a wash or something like that. So, All right. But you might be able to get over that. So right back there. Oh. We yeah, get you might put back walk over right here and check it out. First. And come around. All right, we are going back to go find the way around. Attempted murder. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the old road, but it also is a drainage ditch. So that's why it's gotten wiped out because water runs through it and turned into a groove so it's a very old road but it's still a road so we're not we're not making new roads it would be so easy to just drive around him but the biggest thing is, is as soon as we drive around that then that's a set of tracks 
then in no time at all that's going to be a huge thing people are going to start thinking that's a road and then they'll drive on it and then it'll turn into a big torn up area so this is the level we go through to not disturb anything that's not disturbed stay the trail just stay on it please especially out in this area because we're already losing a big chunk of trails and access out here because of misuse and overuse and the blatant disregard for anything. All right, the swoop and loop is nearly complete. There's our van right there we're going to get. It does look a little sandy. I can see his concerns. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. weighs 8,000 pounds you know that right okay super not worried about it yeah we'll be all right we have drug bigger deeper look at that sweet super loop it's the sweetest of the super loops okay turn all the way passenger yeah. right there okay put it in reverse Okay, help out a little. Yeah, give it a little more. There we go. Okay, that's good there. Okay, turn driver and go forward. Right there. All right. Now that door looks way more lined up. It wasn't stuck enough to justify a kinetic rope. Right. Like that would have been ridiculous for that. Because we had to back up really a bit then yeah winch line hooked up we have to pull them out and like i said it was funny his rear door wouldn't close because of how twisted the body was so it's not a super good yeah but anyway we got him out and then we're headed back to the shop we're gonna do some work on blue and get her running a little better order some parts, get this thing all prepped and ready to go so we can go for paint next week. Like I said, look forward to it. So we're uh, figuring out what kind of gas mileage we got. We went 63 miles. Let's take 63 and divide it by 11. 5.7 miles to the gallon. Dude, new we almost record. doubled it. Yeah, it was getting worse than that. Yeah. 3.8 before. Yeah. So that's super cool. All right. Well, here we are. It's like we've already done this today. So yeah, we're heading out here. We've got yet another Sprinter van stuck in the sand. Let's see whether this is a front wheel or a four wheel. What do you think? Yeah, being as far out as they are, I'm betting it's a four wheel drive. AKA all wheel drive. All wheel drive, but it probably has low gear. All right. I'll take that. We'll see. Sprinter vans belong, in case you guys were wondering. Well, and I mean, fine, whatever. Go out here, do whatever you're gonna do, but have some type of a recovery option. Have a winch, have something. 
I'm here to tell you the magic is the jack and stack. You jack it up, you stack things under the tire. Just saying. in there. This is actually the second no Sprinter to van today. <laughs> today. <laughs> like this is the exact one yeah. except, look, Winnebago, Mike. Oh yeah. Winnebago, Winnebago, Winnebago 4x4 Rebel. I was going like, to say, I was like, you guys all right. do this. Like, this is the exact same one except yeah. the one this morning was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a big issue with these though, is they're just the power bed so, so stalls out so hard that you can't like keep speed. Yeah, well, it, it cuts out the traction control. Yeah. Got action mode of this bug. There you go. I got a... You should always get them plugged in. Yeah. You can't do the off grid lifestyle. You don't know. <laughs> there. You know what we need? Super loop. Super loop right here. Yeah, we're getting there. I got it around the lower control arm there. I think it should be pretty. No, that's perfect. Keeps it low and away from the bumper. Ellie, do you have the keys on you? No, they're, the in your fanny, they're in your fanny pack. There we are. Okay, right there, put it in drive. Man, this thing's really in there. So where are you guys from? From Aspen. Nice. Right on. Yeah. All right, go ahead and jump in it. Straight right there. The ladder in there makes it not like you jump in front of you and pull you up that.
It's ground beef. Ground beef. There's still a skull. I always wondered how some of these random curves got in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Dead animal. So there they are. They're out. Old Blue did what she does. Drove out here, got the rig, drives back to town. So she's doing exactly what she's made for. Like yeah, or you could just enjoy it. That's the cool thing is, is like I know it's gonna be used, so he's not gonna do like an insane crazy paint job and he's gonna do a rough sand and paint it. Like it's not gonna be fix every dent or do that because why? And so if it comes back and it's like Robbie Layton status, <laughs> what are you gonna think? Would it be a little emotional? <laughs> yeah. You'll have to just take a screwdriver to it right off the bat. Right. Just to break the uh, perfectness. Well, if it comes back too nice, it's running frigid. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, dude! What's up? It's cold today. Freaking freezing. Check it out, we got the doors strapped down, we got the fenders strapped down. Got the mirrors on there still. So are you gonna be the one driving Old Blue once she's all pretty? Uh, Roy can put the first scratch in it and then I'll drive it after that. Yeah, that makes sense. But uh, we'll see how it comes out. I don't know. It's gonna be a green truck named Blue. That's right. Because boy, Blue, you my boy. And Mike's picking up rocks because he likes rocks. Let's go check on. See how much it is. This feels weird. Does it feel weird, Sean? Oh yeah. It feels weird. It's cold. It's not even winter yet. Oh blue is turning green. Oh no, hiking is not our sport. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> no. You can notice not much of a hiker. <laughs> we should take it up with it now before the paint shows up. <laughs> Do it now before the paint shows up. Uh, yeah. Cheese. 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 Did you find cheese? <laughs> Mike found cheese. Found cheese. In a can. Yeah. The best cheese ever made. Like 4% better. Still the same. <laughs>